And to keep this rolling along, we have a, a legislator from Sullivan County, uh, David Sager. Yay! 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 Uh, thanks for having me this morning. Uh, I'm currently a legislator in Sullivan County. I'm also a, a state senate candidate for the 42nd district. Uh, I've uh, rested my campaign on this issue. It's the reason I got in, involved in this race. Uh, I was. Uh, everyone knows I'm fighting a, an entrenched uh, state senator that for two and a half years uh, spoke nothing but drill, baby, drill. And uh, I haven't changed my tune on this issue. I've been at the exact same spot I was day one in 2008 when the uh, Department of Environmental Conservation uh, came down and told us uh, it was their agenda, the D Division of Mineral Resources, that they wanted to frack. Uh, it was part of their agenda. Now this is the Department of Environmental Conservation, and we're now talking uh, with the Environmental Protection Agency. I implore them to please stand by and stand for their names and stand for their mission statements. This is about greed and nothing else, unfortunately. There are so many factors involved in this issue, and we need to study them thoroughly. We should not be moving forward with anything until there is an objective cumulative impact study, not just to study the environment and the effects on water, which are huge, huge. But we also need to look at it from a societal standpoint and a public health standpoint. And there is plenty and there is plenty of information out there that says that this is dangerous, not just to our water, but to our public health. And our future, this is not going away. This could devastate our region. And as you look around and drove to this region, if you drove from the southern part, you will notice a mountainous, bucolic, forested setting. And this will be the industrialization and the deforestation of an entire region. Right. It will change our communities. It will change our futures. This is not acceptable. Absolutely. I hope that you'll stand with us today and in November and make sure that we push forward an agenda that's responsible for all citizens, that's not going to uh, risk our welfare and our public health and interests for the wealth and benefit of a select few large landowners. We as elected officials are here to protect the greater good. And that's what I've done since day one on this issue. I'll continue to fight for that in Albany. Get out there, be vigilant. You know, you know, as much as they want to say, and I've taken some heat in Sullivan County on this issue, uh, my neighbors are farmers that would love nothing more. I apologize to our, uh, on behalf of our state and federal leaders who have not done enough to protect farming interests. But this is not a farming interest. This is big industry. We feel for our farmers, and I want to make sure that that's profitable. But I'm not going to do so at the welfare of an entire region and our children and our future. So stand with me today, and let's move forward and tell them that this is not happening in our backyard, and this is not safe until it can be proven to even be close to safe, which there's a ton of information to say otherwise. Say no way. No Thank you. Way.